All right, so another exploration trip today. Pretty windy already. It's gonna be blowing about 10 to 15 miles an hour today from the east southeast. I'm gonna head across to the east shoreline over there. There's some points, some coves, some docks, a little bit of everything to try to fish. Let's see if we can get on some either trout, redfish, snook, maybe some flounder. We shall see. To start out, I'm gonna have a Slam Shady rigged up, 2.0. Power prawn, shrimp lure, and also got a top water. Our moonwalker rigged up. The sun's just starting to poke up there. But that east shoreline will have some shade from the trees, so might be able to throw top water when I get over there. A little bit of a wet ride. Those waves are gonna be coming off right side of the boat there but this is a pretty narrow section of the river so the waves don't build up as bad as some areas which is why I picked this spot it's gonna have to cross the river don't want it to be too choppy because this boat's not really made for <laughs> choppy conditions there's the wind let's go ahead and shoot across and see what we can get I'm gonna start close to this point up here. Nice mangrove shoreline. Good amount of water pushed up. Skip some lures around there. It's like a good spot for snook or trout to be holding in there. Little bit of wind protection. Mm, nice snook there. There's a nice one. Oh, got me. Oh, man. He got me. Stole my moonwalker. That's a, that was a textbook spot right there. Right off that point of the mangroves. Oh man, might need heavier leaders. 30 pound leader broke right off. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is I'm, I think I have another moonwalker. Hope I have another moonwalker. I'm gonna tie on some 40 pound tippet. Yeah, I got 40 pound here. Oh, that hurt. That was a nice snook. So what I'm doing here is tying on a section of 40 pound leader to the end of my 30 pound, just for more abrasion resistance. That snook had no problem chafing right through that 30 pound. Put about eight inches or so on there and let's see if we have another moonwalker all right so this is the original model we had but I put the bigger hooks on this is my last top water that's not it. Hopefully we don't lose this one if we come across another nice fish. I think I made the mistake of having my drag a little bit too tight as well. 
fishing close to this structure. So luckily I did have another Moonwalker and I was able to get redemption on another Snook. It was a smaller Snook, but it was good to actually get a fish landed after losing that big one. There's another one. All right, redemption. Redemption, come on. Don't come off. A little smaller, but I'll take it for redemption. Still a nice size one. And the Moonwalker. top water so if you enjoyed this video this is just a short clip from one of my insider reports where I show more on the water footage including tips more tips and tactics and show exactly where I went based on the trends because the trends and the patterns is the most important thing to learn not the spots themselves so if you're interested in that definitely be sure to check it out at saltstrong.com forward slash insider and you can also pick up some of these lures this is our moonwalker topwater at fishstrong.com and if you're new to salt strong just know that we're the best online fishing club in america especially if you're targeting redfish sea trout snook or flounder there's nothing else like it because we actually guarantee that you'll start catching more inshore fish while saving time and money we do this through premium education our exclusive insider fishing community and huge discounts on the best tackle for saltwater anglers to learn more go to saltstrong.com otherwise we hope to see you again soon